So hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sunny, your host. So today we are going to continue further in the incredible DALI API series. So in this video, we will create the third page of our app where we will add image variation capabilities that we have discussed in the Jupyter Notebook in the previous videos. And by the way, if you are new to this channel, this is actually a part of our DALI API series. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I highly recommend checking them out. And if you want to catch up on those videos or check out any other content I have produced, make sure to click the playlist link in the description below. So let's not wait further and continue with this series. Okay guys, so again, let's get started. So here we have created for the uh, text image. We have already created one page and it is working absolutely fine. Let's go to the image variation now. Okay, so for this, we will take a hint from first of all, our code that we have written into the notebook right so let's go to the uh, notebook and uh, let's open this image variations and uh, here you will see that what input that we have so in the previous one we had a text input right but in this case we have input image and n is equal to 3 is fine that is uh, obviously we are we can borrow it from the previous and the size of the image is also fine only thing that changes here is that you have to upload an image so uh, let's go back to our uh, bing ai chat and let's modify our uh, input and uh, make here that create a streamlit app that with the form the form contains a file upload file upload option okay so uh, this is uh, our, our file uploader simply file uploader that accept only maybe uh, only png or jpg images okay so if i mention this and let's try to run this and let's see okay what we get so we can see that it says uh, a file uploader and uh, choose a type that is png jpg and rest of the things are fine so you can see that it is almost same right but only thing that is changes here is this uh, that is uploaded file type right so i will go back again and i will just copy this part only because rest of the things are again going to be same so let's go to the uh, page number that is three Okay, you can again go like that way as well. Let me paste it somewhere that which we are going to use it later. And again, go to the page number two. And from there, I will just copy paste the remaining stuff. Okay, so now instead of having a prompt here, what you will have, you will have this uploaded image or uploaded file. Okay, and the rest of things will remain same. And also here that if uh, now instead of having if prompt, so what I will say that if the uploaded file, if it is if it is not none okay if the file is actually uploaded if it is not none so in that case um i will instead of creating what i will do i will go for a create variation okay so let's go back to again to the um, same jupyter notebook and i will just simply mention this create variation right so create variation and uh, instead of prompt what it will have it will have the image okay which will have the our image okay and this is nothing but it's going to be uploaded file as of now so that's what i am expecting that as of now like as a general but it will it has to be changed okay i i will change it just now and also i need to open uh, import the open ai so see this thing looks uh, okay as of now but obviously it's going to have some issues right so let me let's try this okay if it works or not so let's go back to this source, refresh this, go to the image variation. And if I, you can see if I browse the image, um, let's say, uh, let's take some other image. Uh, let's say this looks better. And image generation is going to be same. And let's go to the three part. Let's see submit and if it works or not. So you can see it is generating image, right? It is generating image for, this is the uh, generated image. Okay. But it did not show the actual image that you have uploaded right so uh, that you should see uh, and let me go back again let's let's make that correction here and uh, so i will simply i can say that st dot image let's try with the uploaded file here directly and we can mention the caption here that uploaded image and again you can use the column width equals to true let's go back again to the our app and rerun this uh, the the file is already uploaded so no need to change anything and uh, we can just have two samples and let's see that if it okay so it's quickly showed that okay yes this is an uploaded image and it will take some time you can see it is running so it's, it's generating images and so you can see it's generated this variation that is okay it is acceptable as of now so it's it's so it's working fine right but now there could be some change or there could be some issues let's see let me if this is an image which is uh okay let me 
topic some image this is a long image right it is not of it's of different shape so let's see if it works or not so that is an uploaded image so you can see it said again invalid request and the height you have got is this 198020 and 1080 so what we can do is we can create a utility function which can help us to uh, resize this image okay which we have uploaded so that's where the problem will be solved so let's work on that so uh, what we can do is instead of keeping a utility function here i will create a separate function here a separate file here which we will call it as a, a utils.py and in this utils uh, we will we will do the resize operation here okay so if you can remember in this case also i think uh, not in this case we yeah we did not check that okay we we did not do the image resizing option but we did it in the uh, image edits okay so if you check here yep so we have used this right that is about image res first of all you need to resize the image then uh, read it in this and then you have to this so these this major option that is your uh, mask image resize okay so that is so what we can do is we can copy this and we can paste it here and uh, we will import the necessary things so from io import bytes io and then uh, we need i think that should be more than enough and then we have the uh, define we will define the resize image resize image and here we will uh, pass the image we need to get the width and height of the image okay and that's it so this should be more than enough and now let's make this instead of calling it as mass image let's call this as an image so to make it more generic and byte stream is fine and then we have the uh, where we can call this image not save byte stream png it's fine and then we have the byte stream get value so what i can do instead of saving it in a variable i will simply return this so in this way uh, we can have it and also instead of defining it as 1024 only we can simply say this will be our width and height that why i want to resize it right so this way the image resize will work and now uh, if you can remember so we have one more utility we should need is get width and height what i am trying to say here is that if you can remember so size is nothing but it's going to be a string right so from that a string i should be able to uh, get that um, i should be able to get the uh, width and height right from there so what i will do is i will simply i will use list comprehension here that will i will simply if you can remember so the size will look like this let me comment here so size will look like um width times height right or maybe i will simply say that 512 cross 512 so that is how it will look like so uh, this is again it's going to be a string right so it's, it's, since it's a string so i have to split it into from x so i will simply say that size dot split at x and uh, now what i will do is uh, it, it once you split it so you will get again 512 as a string and 512 as a string so what i will do i will um, iterate over this so value for value in uh, size dot split and i will convert this value into an integer so in this way you will uh, get an outcome which is going to be 512 comma 512 as a this is going to be as a, a list which you can again um, save it into some variable with the night so that's why these two uh, things are very important and uh, yeah so let's go back to the page number three here so uh, now what we have to do is we before passing on this uploaded a file passing on to this uploaded file what we can do is let's read that image okay so let, let's read that image into into uh, image class image dot open and uh, we will pass this uploaded file here and uh, we can just simply pass on this image to this and now also we have to import this image class right from pil so i will simply say that from pil import image class and also from the utility we need right from utils that is from src dot utils import so in utils what we have we have the get width height and resize so get width height and the resize image so these two are required and uh, so before we pass it on to the uh, create variation what we will do is uh, we will also get the width first of all we need to get the width and height okay width and height is equals to um, get image width and height and uh, here we will simply pass on the size okay that is nothing but it's a string and then what we will do is uh, we will have our image so this will be passed through the uh, resized image and uh, resize image will take the 
image that you have right now it will take width and height values and it will return me an image and now this image should be passed into the uploaded file so this should uh, take over or uh, this should take care of the issue majorly and that is um, like about the uh, like if width and height are different so you should at least resize the image so let's go back again and let's try the same image and let's first of all rerun this and uh, i think we can go ahead and let's see so we have this uploaded image and uh, we should not get any error right now yep so you can see it is generating image it looks good right and uh, yeah that's great see so this world and by the way this image is from a uh, uh, video that i recorded you can check it out on my instagram <laughs> i'm not promoting but uh, yeah you can check it out. so uh, you can see that it's, it's able to um, resize the image and it is able to generate an image so that's where it solved the issue of that size so those two utility actually helped us to um, finish this work that is about image variation now there could be one more issue right that is about um, size of the image so let's say if you upload more than 4 GB or uh, 4 MB of uh, image. So in that case, you may get an error. So I will leave it up to you that how you can tackle that, right? So you can make help of this being AI and just tackle that. So let me, I will show you that also. Let, okay, let's say if I have some bigger images also here. So there was an image of a puppy, I think it should be somewhere here. Yep, so these images are, I think it's, they are slightly larger. So that is, um, yep, this image is, I think it should be around 18.9 MB. So let's see. So if I upload that, so it, it should say some issue. That is an uploaded image. And let's say if I, for re, after resizing, if it is not getting off the, uh, if it is not, okay. Uh, yep, so right now it's able to generate. Why? Because we are able to resize that image, right? So if it exceeds the 4 MB limit, so in that case, you may get an error. So yeah, that means this works, right? So image variation is absolutely fine. It's working fine. And uh, so we have created the, um, so we have created all the three pages, first three pages, only image edit is left. So uh, till then, see you all in the next session. Okay. Till then, keep on learning, keep on exploring. Thank you all. Mm -hmm.